In this video tutorial, we'll show you how to wipe free space with BC Wipe. Residual data, known as data remnants, continues to exist after common activities, such as delete a file or move a file. The wipe free space task is used to completely remove all traces of unwanted files beyond forensic recovery. To clean free space on a hard drive, BC Wipe creates temporary files with a wiping pattern inside. These temporary files overwrite old data written to the disk. BC Wipe accomplishes this by overwriting free space without allocating all available disk space at once. By doing so, the drive never gets a condition of low disk space. Open BC Wipe Task Manager. Click on the Tasks menu, select Create New Task, and then select Wipe Free Space. From the list, select the drive where you want to run the Wipe Free Space task. Or also, you can exclude drives by selecting from the Exclude and Hide options. Free space wiping is a time-consuming task. To wipe free space in less time, click Manage Reserved Space. This option allows you to lock up a portion of free space after it has been wiped. Since the wiped data in reserved space is considered occupied, it will not get used or dirty so that space will not need to be wiped every time. The reserved space will be automatically released and made available in case the disk starts getting full. Select a percentage and click OK. Let's now select the Schedule tab. Here you can set the starting time for the wiping task. Apart from the regular scheduling, you can also select the task to start at user logon, at startup, or at user logoff or shutdown. Let's move on to the wipe options tab. Here you can select from the 14 different wiping schemes. BC Wipe also allows you to create your own wiping scheme. Click edit to start the wiping scheme editor. Click new. Choose a name for your scheme and click OK. Now start adding from the pattern list. After you are done, click apply and then close. Below the wiping scheme option, you can see the file and directory slack options. File slack is the disk space from the actual end of a file up to the end of the last cluster used by the file. The space may contain data from other files previously written there. Directory slack may also contain the name of the deleted file, as well as other deleted data. Check the box for directory slacks if you want to get rid of this unwanted data. Wiping a file and directory slacks may be a time-consuming process especially if there are many files and folders on the disk. For certain files and folders that you will keep for a long time, you could wipe their slacks just once and then configure BC Wipe to skip these directories. To create a list of skipped files and folders, check Use Skipped List and click Edit. Now select the options as desired. MFT, or Master File Table, is a reserved space on an NTFS disk where the file system stores names and attributes of files. Small files may reside inside MFT completely. It is recommended to enable this option for complete security. NTFS is a journaling file system, and it uses the NTFS log to record temporary data for all files you are working with. The transactions log file is used to restore the file system in case of a failure. 
Next, click on the Log File tab. Check the Use Log File box if you want to have a log file afterward. Log files can be viewed in Log View or Notepad. Now go ahead and click OK. If the selected time for the task was current, then select the task and click the play button. This will start the process immediately. You can also just right click on the drive from Windows Explorer and select Wipe Free Space. The task will follow the last selected settings to wipe this drive. Congratulations! You have successfully wiped free space with BC Wipe. Thank you for watching. We hope you will be satisfied with our software.